morning. I'm going to take this out for a second. Uh, welcome to the seventh annual uh, Fauquier County Division Spelling Bee. My name is Eileen Verguin. I'm the English and Reading Supervisor for Fauquier County Public Schools. And it's my pleasure this morning to be the spelling bee pronouncer. Um, I hope that uh, everyone was able to get here through the fog without any, any major difficulties. We have four students who uh, were registered, or who have not yet registered for the bee, so I was trying to give them a chance to get here because of the fog. But uh, we also know that there's a lot of flu going around, so it's possible that they may not, uh, may not arrive. And I do want to get started because some of you have been here for a while. Uh, before we do begin, a uh, couple um, housekeeping things. The first thing I would like everybody to do is join me in turning off your cell phone. We really want to make sure that we don't do anything that would um, distract the spellers from spelling because once they begin, they can't start over and change anything. So. Um, I think a cell phone going off could be distracting. Uh, same thing with flash photography. Please, please don't use flash photography while the speller is spelling. Um, we have, uh, you know, I have to do some math. We had 61 minus 4. We have 57 spellers this morning. Um, and you see their, their bright shiny faces here on the, uh, the stage of the forum. Uh, before we start spelling, I want to recognize some people who have worked really hard to make the spelling bee, um, to bring it all together. Um, I want to begin with, uh, in, in the individual schools, there is someone designated to be the school level spelling bee coordinator. Would those school level coordinators please stand up to be recognized? There's an awful lot of work that goes into organizing uh, a school level B because it, the process begins with classroom level Bs and then there's a school level B uh, and we ask each school to choose um, for the top four spellers to send on uh, this for this morning's B. In a few schools there were some ties that could be resolved so you'll see in the program that uh, a couple of schools have five spellers but they were that was because there were uh, two students occupying the same uh, level of finalist. Um, next, I'd like to recognize all of the principals who are here. There are quite a few principals from our elementary and middle schools. If you would stand, please, and be recognized. The, the support of the principals is, is vital to making this happen because to have a division or a school level B, you've got to rearrange schedules and, and uh, organize things, let parents know, etc. Uh, finally, uh, there is a division level uh, coordinator, and though uh, technically that would be me, the person who does all the really hard work is Mr. John Lucas, and we couldn't do this without him. So John, would you stand again? And be John is a reading specialist here at uh, Auburn Middle School. And uh, every year that we've had the, the uh, Division Level B uh, since 2007, we've had it here at Auburn Middle School, and that wouldn't happen without the uh, help and cooperation of Mr. Steve Cadillac, principal of uh, Auburn Middle, and we really appreciate his help. And I guess the two most important ladies in the room are our judges this morning. Uh, we have Mrs. Cheryl Wolf, who is a school board member and represents the Lee District. And we have my friend and colleague, Mrs. Pat Wine, who is a former English teacher and assistant principal uh, at Liberty High School. Uh, I'm going to ask Mr. Lucas to explain the B, uh, the end of B rules in just a second because that's probably the most important part of the rule sheet that the parents receive. Uh, but before I do that, spellers, I want to tell you that I am really proud of all of you and all of you are winners or you wouldn't be here this morning. 
Uh, by the time the B ends, we'll have one person who's designated as the division winner, but I don't want anybody to think that you're a loser because you're not. You're great kids and you've done a great job. To you. And to show um, how, how much uh, we are proud of you, each of you will receive uh, a certificate of participation uh, when the uh, B is over. When students miss words, we ask them to return to their seats until the end of the round. And at the end of the round, we have some helpers here in the first row. Uh, who are going to escort you to our hospitality room, which is down at the other end of the hall. And there you'll have some refreshments. We'll ask you to return the, um, the sleeve that your name tag is in. You can keep the, the piece of paper inside that has your name on it, but we do reuse these sleeves and in these tough economic times, anything, any money we can save, we try to save. So we're into recycling these. When you turn this in, you'll get your certificate, and it's a very nice certificate that um, we prepared for you. I fail to recognize the fact that there are National Junior Honor Society uh, students from Auburn who have been here assisting us this morning, and we appreciate their help as well. Anybody else? John? Oh, I'm a member of the Honor Society from Fauquier High School. That's great. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, Mr. Lucas is going to explain the end of the procedures. Um, basically, the way the end of the procedure works is when we get to the end of this, uh, toward the end of the spelling, we get down to two or three spellers. Let's say we have a round with three spellers and two of them miss a word, and the third one gets it. That third student, the one that spelled the word correctly, will have to go through one additional round. They have to spell correctly in one additional round than the other spellers. So we still need to have one extra round. If they get their word correct, they win. If they don't get their word correct, all three of the spellers from the previous round come back in. that spells one word in one round more than the other spellers. Okay. Pretty much sums that up. Um, spellers, very proud of you. It's awesome that you've made it this far. It's fantastic. Have fun with it, please. Um, so you can get really, especially in competitions like this, you can get kind of Families, uh, when uh, your child leaves at the end of a round, you are certainly welcome to stay and watch the, the B uh, till the end. That doesn't mean that you have to leave. Uh, you may choose to leave and that will be fine. So there will be a little bit of a break between each of the rounds uh, to allow for people to leave if they need to leave. Um, if you need restroom facilities, they are outside. Um, Take a right near the table where you registered, and the uh, restrooms are right there if you need that. Okay? Okay. Uh, this is primarily for the coordinators, parents. Um, if there is a question protest that you might possibly have as to the correctness of the spelling or something, we do have protest forms available. <laughs> Come down and get them from me. Um, the protest has to be filed prior to the next time that speller would spell. And basically, it can't be a protest that involves uh, getting another speller out. It has to be something involving your speller, and it can only be filled out by the coordinators, principals, or the parents.
Finally, last year as part of the um, Fauquier County Strategic Plan, uh, we had included uh, uh, an action plan to recognize academic achievement to the same level that we often recognize athletic achievement. And to that end, we um, purchased this trophy, which is a perpetual trophy and goes to the school uh, of the student who uh, achieves the, the, the highest level of spelling today, the actual uh, finalist. And the names of the students who have uh, won the Division B are engraved on the side. So from 2007 to 2012, We've had Anna Cross, a student at Coleman Elementary, Ryan Nary, a student at Taylor, Michelle McClanahan, an, another Taylor student, Andrew Marino, a Brumfield student, Andrew Marino, a Warrington Middle School student, and Andrew Marino, <laughs> a Warrington Middle uh, student. So Andrew ha has uh, done a three-peat, and he is here today. Um, the, Students who are participating today are uh, range from grades three through grade eight, uh, and according to the National Spelling Bee rules, uh, once a student is out of eighth grade uh, or passes age 14, uh, he or she is no longer eligible to compete. So uh, we wanted everybody to see the trophy, and uh, you can envision your name <laughs> down here. Uh, on the trophy for next year. So I'll put this on the judge's table. And in a little while, we'll, we'll know who the winner will be. The first round, we always have the students come up and spell their names so that they can get accustomed to speaking in the mic uh, and you can get a chance to see them. And then we'll begin with the words. So, speller number one, if you would go up and spell your, your first name. Jillian, G-I-L-L-I-A-N. Joseph, J-O-S-E-P-H, Joseph. Anna, A N N A. <coughs> Lexi, L E X I. Sarah, S A R A H. <coughs> Derek, D E R R I C K. K. <laughs> Brianna, B R I A N A. Madison, M A D I S O N. Elizabeth, E L I Z A B E T H. Bryce, B R Y C E. Claire, C L A I R E. Garrett, G E H R I G. Lumen, L-U-M-I-N. Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H. Brooke, B-R-O-O-K-E. Tony, T-O-N-Y. Liam, L-I-A-M. 
Jake, J-A-K-E. <laughs> Kayla, M-A-K-A-Y-L-A. Z-A-C-H. Elizabeth, E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H. Savannah, S-A-V-A-N-N-A-H, Savannah. Kira, K-Y-R-A, Kira. Dustin, D-U-S-T-I-N. Aaron, E-R-I-N. Matthew, M-A-T-T-H-E-W. Julia, J-U-L-I-A. <coughs> Allie, Allie, A-L-I. Zach, Z-A-C-K. Luke, L-U-K-E. <laughs> Helen, H-E-L-E-N, Helen. Paige, P-A-I-G-E. Joel, J-O-E-L. Lucas, L U C A S. Sydney, S Y D N E Y. Jacob, J A C O B. Dylan, D Y L A N. <coughs> Caroline, C A R O L I N E. K-A-T-E. <coughs> Brett, B-R-E-T-T. -T. Harrison, H-A-R-R-I-S-O-N. Drew, D-R-E-W, Drew. Brianna, B R I A N N A. Hudson, H U D S O N. Dominic, D 
D-O-M-E-N-I-C, Dominic. <coughs> Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, Michael. <coughs> Rylan, R-I-E-L-A-N. Connor, C O N N O R. <coughs> Sydney, S Y D N E Y. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, J O R D A N. <coughs> Matt, M A T T, Matt. Okay, those are our 2013 spellers. to me, I saw some familiar uh, faces. Have, stand up, please, if you've been here before. Look at those returning champions. <laughs> One last note for parents. The words that we're going to be um, giving the, the, the spellers come from the study list that they were given, but not all of the words that you are going to hear me pronounce today are on the speller's study list. All of the words, however, are found in the Webster's Third International Dictionary. So this is not exactly like a weekly spelling test where you know all the words in advance and, and you're just rewarded for having memorized them all. There are also words that um, the students perhaps haven't seen before and just have to think about uh, and spell. Um, also, uh, just so you know, if a word is capitalized, the student does not need to say that it's a capital letter. They just need to say the, right, the correct letters in the correct order. If they um, repeat themselves, they can go back and start over, but they can't change any letter that they've already said. Um, so halfway through the words, sometimes they recognize that they made a mistake, but they can't go back and fix it. So uh, a, letter, a letter said is, is a letter that counts. Okay? All righty. We're ready to begin. <coughs> Your word is restaurant. Restaurant. R-E-S-T-A-U-R-A-N-T. Restaurant. Correct. Your word is aviation. 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 A-V-I-A-T-I-A-O-N. I'm sorry, it's A-V-I-A-T-I-O-N. Your word is transience. Transience. T-R-A-N-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is T-R-A-N-S-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Your word is impossible. Impossible. I M P O S S I B L E. Correct. Your word is transatlantic. 
transatlantic. Transatlantic. T-R-A-N-S-A-T-L-A-N-T-I-C. Correct. <laughs> Your word is authoritative. 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 A-U-T-H-O-R. I-T. A-T-I-V-E. That is correct. Your word is persistent. Persistent. Per Persistent. P E R S I S T A N T. Persistent. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is P E R S I S T E N T. F T E N T. Your word is chastise. <coughs> chastise. C H A S. T-I-S-E. That is correct. Your word is congratulations. 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 C-O-N-G-R-A. T-E-L-L-A-T-I-O-N-S. Correct. <laughs> the following word has two correct spellings. Lucky you. Either one of the two spellings listed can be accepted as correct. You only have to provide one correct spelling. Okay? Your word is enterprise. Enterprise, E-N-T-E-R-P-R-I-S-E, -E -E, enterprise. That is correct. The other correct spelling would be to uh, spell it P-R-I-Z-E, just in case you were interested. Uh, your word is stratification, stratification. Stratification. S T. R A T I F I C A T I O N. That is correct. <coughs> Your word is cooperate. Cooperate? Cooperate. C O O P E R A T E. Cooperate. That is correct. Your word is sufficiently. 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 S U F F I C. I E N T L Y. Correct. Your word is societal. 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 S-O-C-I-E-T-A-L, societal. Correct. Your word is obituary. Obituary. Ob obituary. O-B-I-T-U-A-R-Y, obituary. Correct. <coughs> Your word is contrivance. 
contrivance. Contrivance. C O N T R I V E N C E contrivance. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is C O N T R I V A N C E. Perfectionism. 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 P E R F E C T I O N I S M. Perfectionism. Correct. <laughs> Your word is sentient. 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 Could you repeat the word, please? Yes, it has two pronunciations. Let me give you both of them. Sentient or sentient. Sentient. C E N T. I A N T sentient. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is S E N T I E N T. Your word is exterminate. 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 Can I have the definition, please? Yes. Uh, to exterminate means to put out of existence, utterly destroy, or annihilate. Exterminate. Exterminate. E X T E R M I N A T E exterminate. That is correct. <clears throat> Your word is relentlessly, relentlessly, relentlessly. R E L E N T L E S S L Y. Relentlessly. Correct. Okay. All right. Your word is efficient. 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 E F F I C I E N T. Correct. Your word is commodity. 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 C O M M O T I T Y. Commodity. C O M M O D I T Y. Commodity. Your word is vantage. 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 V A N T A G E. Vantage. Correct. <laughs> Your
Your word is deodorant. 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 D E O D O R A N T. Deodorant. Correct. Your word is arbitrary. 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 A R B. Can I start over? You may. You may A not change the letter. Can I start over? You may. <laughs> A R B I T R A R Y. Arbitrary. That is correct. <coughs> Your word is a portion, a portion. A portion. A, P, P, O, R, T, I, O, N. That is correct. <laughs> I don't want you to be uncomfortable. That'll help. Okay. Your word is disparage. Disparage. D i s p a r a g e. That is correct. Your word is anxiety. Anxiety. Can you repeat the word for me? Certainly. Anxiety. Anxiety. A N G V I O T Y anxiety. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is A N X. I E T Y anxiety. Your word is predicament. 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 P R E D I C A M E N T. That is correct. Your word is vernal. 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 V E R N A L. Vernal. Correct. Your word is depravity. 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 D E P R A V I T why depravity? Correct. Got it. Okay. Your word is quantitative. Quantitative. <coughs> quantitative. A T I V E. I'm sorry, it's
It's Q U A N T I T A T I V E. <coughs> Your word is beguile. 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 B E G U I L E. Correct. Okay, your, your word is not exactly a homonym, but it's, it could be misunderstood, so I'm going to give you the whole definition and sentence just to make sure you understand which word I'm saying. The word is monitory, monitory. It means giving a friendly reproof, warning, or reminder. Randall spoke gently to his nephew, but the monitory tone was unmistakable. Monitory. Monitory. M O N O T. May I please start over? May. Will you please repeat the word? Monitory. Monitory. M O N A T R Y. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is M-O-N-I-T-O-R-Y. You are also getting a word that has two correct spellings. And the word is taboo. Taboo. T-A-B-O-O. -O. That is correct. The other correct spelling is T-A-B-U, uh, so she could have given either, either spelling. Your word is forensics, forensics. Forensics, F-O-R-E-N-S-I-C-S, forensics. Correct. <coughs> Your word is unforeseeable, unforeseeable. Unforeseeable, U-N-F-O-R-S-E-E-A-B-L-E, unforeseeable. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is U-N-F-O-R-E-S-E-E-A-B-L-E. Your word is officiant. 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 O F F I C I A N T. Officiant. That is correct. Your word is compendium. 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 C O N N D E M I D Y. Okay. Can you get closer to the microphone, please? The word was compendium. Compendium. C O M P D I T Y Compendium. No, I'm sorry, the word is spelled C O M P E N D I U M Compendium. Your word is nominative. Nominative. The definition? Please. Certainly. Nominative means making typically the subject of a verb. 
used especially in the grammar of languages that have relatively full inflection, nominative. Would you like a sentence? The nominative case of a noun designates the subject of a verb, nominative. Nominative, N-O-M-N-A-T-I-V-E, nominative. N-O-M-I-N-A-T-I-V-E. Your word is compunction. 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 C-O-M-P-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. Compunction. That is correct. Your word is optometry. Optometry. Can I have a sentence? A sentence? The sentence is, as soon as Greg received his degree in optometry, he started working at a public health clinic. Optometry. Optometry. O P T O M I T A R Y. I'm sorry, it's O P T O M E T R Y optometry. Here's another word that has two correct spellings. I can't remember this many uh, on one of the lists in the past. Uh, so you only have to give me one of the correct spellings. <coughs> the word is anemic. Anemic. A-N-E-M-I-C, anemic. That is correct. The other correct spelling would be uh, using the more Greek form, A-N-A-E-M-I-C. Your word is taciturn, taciturn. Taciturn, T-A-C-I-T-U-R-N, taciturn. That is correct. Your word is geologist, geologist. Geologist. G E O G I L I S T, geologist. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is G E O L O G I S T. Your word is untenable. 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 U N T E N. A, B, L, E, untenable. That is correct. Your word is stimulus, stimulus. Stimulus, S-T-I-M-U-L-A-I-S, stimulus. I'm star sorry, it's S-T-I-M-U-L-U-S, stimulus. Your word is verbiage, verbiage. Verbiage, V-E-R-B-I-A-G-E, -E, verbiage. That is correct. Your word is mitigate, mitigate. Mitigate, M, I, T, a G A T E. Oh, I'm sorry, it's M I T I G A T E. Mitigate. Your word is constitutional. Constitutional. 
Constitutional. C O N S T I T U T I O N A L Constitutional. That is correct. Your word is paucity. 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 P O S S I T Y. Paucity. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is P A U C I T Y. Your word is apostate. 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 <laughs> A P O S T A T E. Apostate. That is correct. Your word is pantheon. 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 P A N T H E O N. Pantheon. That is correct. <laughs> Your word is. Gelato. 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 G. Sorry, it's G E L A T L. <laughs> Your word is inimitable. Inimitable. Could you please repeat the word? Inimitable. Inimitable. I N. I am I T A B L E and Imitable. That is correct. <coughs> Your word is salubrious. 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 S A L U B R I O U S. Salubrious. That is correct. And that is the end of round one. Sorry, it's W-I-N-D-I-L-Y. 
Now, your word has a homonym, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the complete definition in a sentence. The word is barrow. It is a vehicle with a single wheel suspended between the ends of two shafts that support a box-like body and serve as the handles at the rear. Desmond returned, <coughs> excuse me, Desmond returned from the field with his barrow filled with carrots. Barrow. Barrow. B-A-R-R-O-W, barrow? Correct. Your word is slob. Can you give me the definition, please? Yes. A slob is a person speaking as his native tongue, a language of the Indo-European language family that contains Belarusian, Bulgarian, Czech, Polish, Serbo-Croatian, Slovene, Russian, and Ukrainian. Although Nathan is not a Slav, he, earned to, he learned to speak Russian quite fluently. Slav. Slav. S L A V. Slav. That is correct. And that's an example of a word that's capitalized, but she didn't need to say capital letter. Okay, your word is angelic. Angelic. Can you please put that in a uh, sentence? Yes. The figurine of an angelic being that Mary keeps on her desk was a gift from her mother. Angelic. Angelic. A-N-G-E-L-I-C. Angelic. Correct. Your word is gravel. 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 G-R-A-B-E-L. Gravel. I'm sorry, it's G-R-A-B-B-L-E, gravel. Your word is fathom, fathom. Could you please repeat the word? Fathom. Fathom. F-A-T-H-E-M, fathom. Sorry, it's F-A-T-H-O-M, fathom. Your word, I'm sorry. Your word is tithe, tithe. Tithe? Tithe. Tithe, T-I-T-H-E, tithe. That is correct. Your word is admiral, admiral. Admiral, A-D-M-I-R-A-L, admiral. That is correct. Your word is prairie, prairie. Safari. Safari. S A F A R I. Safari. That is correct. Okay, your word is a homonym and it has several pronunciations. So I'm going to give you all the pronunciations and the definition. Okay? The word is, is one pronunciation is ductile. Another pronunciation is ductile uh, or ductile. Uh, ductile or ductile. It has uh, a homonym. So the definition is capable of being permanently drawn out without breaking, specifically capable of being drawn out into a wire or a thread. I'm going to use the sentence. Because gold and silver are ductile, they were used for jewelry even prior to the development of sophisticated tools. Ductile or ductile. Ductile. D-U-C-T-I-L-E. Ductile. 
That is correct. <laughs> Your word is pretzel. Pretzel. P-R-E-T-Z-E-L. Pretzel. Correct. Your word is stoic. 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 S-T-O-I-C. Stoic. Your word is nether, nether. Nether? Nether. N-E-T-H-E-R. That is correct. Your word is guru. Can you please repeat the word? Guru. Guru. G-U-R-U, -U, Guru. That is correct. Your word is knapsack. 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 K-N-A-P-S-A-C-K. Knapsack. That is correct. Your word is borax. Borax. Um, are there any other pronunciations? Borax. Okay. <laughs> borax, borax. Um, may I have a definition? Certainly. The best known sodium borate that is chiefly used in glass and ceramics, in agricultural chemicals, as a flux, as a cleaning agent and water softener, and as a preservative and fire retardant, borax. Um, B. O R A C K S, borax. I'm sorry, it's B O R A X, borax. <coughs> Your word is biopsy. 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 B I O P S Y. Biopsy. That is correct. That works. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Your word is nestle. Nestle. N-E-S-T-L-E. -E. That is correct. Your word is newfangled. 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 N-E-W-F-A-N-G-L-E-D. That is correct. Newfangled. Your word is trek. Can you please repeat the word? Trek. T R E K, trek. Correct. Your word is gardenia. 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 G A R D E N I A. That is correct. Your word is futon. 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 F U T O N. That is correct.
Your word is dungaree. Dungaree. May you use it in a sentence? I, I can do that. Trousers made of dungaree are very practical for outdoor work. Dungaree. Dungaree. D U N G R E E Dungaree. I'm sorry, it's D U N G A R E E Dungaree. <coughs> Your word has a close homonym, so I'm going to give you the whole definition and everything. The word is innate. Innate. And it means existing in or belonging to some person or other living organism from birth. Kimberly was grateful for her innate sense of direction when her group got lost in the woods. Innate. Innate. I-N-A-T-E. Innate. I'm sorry, it's I-N-N-A-T-E. Your word has two common pronunciations, so I'm going to give you both of those pronunciations. The word is foyer or foyer. Foyer or foyer. Foyer. F O Y E R. Foyer. That is correct. Your word is bungalow. 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 B U N G A L O O. Bungalow. I'm sorry, it's B U N G A L O W. Your word is Newton. 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 N e w t o n. Newton. That is correct. <coughs> Your word is Spartan. 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 S p a r t a n. Spartan. That is correct. Your word is decoy. Decoy. D E C O Y. Decoy. Correct. Your word has a homonym, so I'm going to give you the whole definition. The word is aria. Aria. It's a melody, specifically an accompanied, extended, and usually elaborate melody sung by a single voice, as in opera or oratorio. The opera singer amazed her audience by effortlessly reaching each high F in the aria. Aria. A R I E A Sorry, it's A R I A. Your word has more than one pronunciation. I'm going to give you um, two of the most common ones here. It's Sputnik or Sputnik. Sputnik. S P U T N I K Sputnik. That is correct. The word is tycoon. 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 T Y C O O N. That's correct.
Your word is catkin. Catkin. Catkin? Catkin. Can I have the definition? Yes, a catkin is a spiked inflorescent bearing scaly bracts and petalous unisexual flowers, apetalous, I guess, apetalous unisexual flowers, as in the willow, especially long and densely covered with bracts, a catkin. The catkin grace cut from the willow bush stained her fingers yellow with pollen, catkin. Language of origin, please. It is a Dutch word. Catkin. K A T K I N. Catkin. That is correct. That's the actual thing that's a pussy willow. <laughs> the fuzzy thing. They get such scientific definitions, I'm not sure they're helpful. Your word is fiesta. Fiesta, F-I-E-S-T-A, Fiesta. That is correct. Your word is beige, beige. Beige, B-E-I-G-E, -E, beige. That is correct. And I believe that's the end of round two.
Your word is predicate. 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 P R E D I C A T E. Predicate. That is correct. <laughs> Your word is shogun. 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 Can I have the definition, please? A shogun is a military governor of Japan before the mid 19th century revolution with power exceeding the emperor's. Shogun. Shogun. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The shogun barred all Europeans from his domain. Shogun. Shogun. S H O G U N. That is correct. Your word is huckster. Huckster. Um, yes. A huckster is one that sells goods along the street or from door to door. Huckster. Huckster. H U C K S T E R. Huckster. That is correct. <laughs> Your word is macron. 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 M A C R O N. That is correct. Your word is wanderlust. 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 W A N D E R L U S T, Wanderlust. That is correct. Your word is bequeath. 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 Could I have a language of origin? It's originally English. Bequeath. B E. Q U E A T H. Bequeath. That is correct. Your word is layet. Language of origin? French. L A Y E T T E. Correct. Your word has two common pronunciations, so I'm going to give you both. Okay. Apricot or apricot. Okay. Apricot. A P R I C O T. Correct. Your word has a couple pronunciations as well. I'm going to give you two of the more common ones. Cauliflower or cauliflower. Cauliflower. C-A-U-L-I-F-L-O-W-E-R. That's correct. <coughs> Your word is daffodil. 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 D A F F O D I L. Daffodil. Correct. Your word is gordita. Gordita. Definition. A gordita is a deep fried pocket of cornmeal dough filled with a savory mixture. Gordita. Gordita. 
G O R D I T A. Gordita. Gordita. I think that's on the Taco Bell menu. <laughs> Your word is cummerbund, cummerbund. Different pronunciations? No alternate pronunciations exist, I'm sorry. Cummerbund. Language of origin? This is a word that went from Persian to Hindi. Want a definition? Yes, please. Okay, a cummerbund is a waistband worn in place of a vest with men's dress clothes. Root. <laughs> uh, no, no, there's no root. Um, C U M E R B U N. It's C U M M E R B U N D, Cumberland. <laughs> Your word is renegade, renegade. Can you please repeat the word? Renegade. Renegade? Renegade. R-E-N-I-G-A-D-E, -E. renegade. I'm sorry, it's R-E-N-E-G-A-D-E, -E, renegade. Your word has two pronunciations. I'll give you both of them. Pangolin or pangolin? Pangolin. P-A-N-G-O-L-I-N. Pangolin? Correct. Your word is Olympian. 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 O L I M P I A N. I'm sorry, it's O L Y M P I A N. Olympian. Your word is sombrero. You got it? Sombrero. Sombrero. S O M B R E R O. Sombrero. That is correct. <clears throat> Your word is plateau. 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 P L E A U. Plateau. I'm sorry, it's P L A T A U. Plateau. You didn't say the T. Your word is strudel. 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 S T R U D L E. I'm sorry, it's S T R U D E L. Strudel. Your word is mahi mahi. Language of origin. I knew you were going to ask me that. Mahi mahi <laughs> comes to us from Marquesan, Tahitian, and Hawaiian. Mahi mahi. Definition. Mahi mahi is a spiny finned fish which is widely distributed in tropical and temperate seas and is esteemed as food. Mahi Mahi. Mahi Mahi. M A H I M A H I. That is correct. Your word can have the accent on either one of the syllables, so I'm going to pronounce it both ways. 
rupee or rupee? Rupee or rupee? Rupee. R U P Y. Rupee. I'm sorry, it's R U P E E. <laughs> Your word is contiguous. Contiguous. Contiguous? Contiguous. Contiguous. C O N T I G U O U S. Contiguous. That is correct. Your word is green gauge. Green gauge. A green gauge is any of several rather small, rounded, greenish or greenish yellow cultivated plums of European origin grown chiefly for their superior dessert <coughs> quality. Green gauge. Language of origin? This word consists of an originally English word plus an English name, Green Gauge. Green Gauge, G-R-E-E-N-G-A-G-E, Green Gauge. Correct. Your word is Clementine, Clementine. Clementine, C L E M I N T I N E, Clementine. I'm sorry, it's C L E M E N T I N E, Clementine. Your word is caribou. Caribou? Caribou. C A R I B O U, caribou. That is correct. Your word is expertise, expertise. Alternate pronunciation, please. Expertise, we'll just be putting the expertise. It's pretty much the same either way. Expertise. pronounced two different ways, and I'm going to give you both an antibiotic or antibiotic. Antibiotic. A-N-T-I-B-I-O-T-I-C. Antibiotic. That is correct. <laughs> Your word is boutique. 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 Can I write the definition, please? A boutique is a small retail store, especially a specialty shop dealing in ladies' fashionable ready-to-wear clothes and accessories. Boutique. Boutique. B-O-U-T-I-Q.
E boutique. I'm sorry, it's B O U T I Q U E. Your word is saxophone. 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 S A X A P H O N E. Saxophone. I'm sorry, it's, it's S A X O P H O N E. Saxophone. Those schwa sounds get you. Your word is curriculum. 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 C U R I C U L U M. It's C U R R I C U L U M. Your word is oolong. Oolong. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes, as the aroma of the freshly brewed oolong rose from the tiny teacup, Sam thought he would never drink coffee again. Oolong. Oolong. O-O-L-O-N-G. Oolong. That is correct. Your word is Siberian. 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 Can I have the definition, please? Yes. Siberian is of, relating to, or characteristic of Siberia, the massive central and eastern portion of Russia. Siberian. Siberian. S-I-B-E-R-I-A-N. Siberian. That's correct. Your word is post-mortem. 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 P O S T M O R T E N. Postmortem. That is correct. I'm going to give you both pronunciations of your word Jaguar or Jaguar. Uh, jaguar. J A G U A R. Correct. Your word is confetti. 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 C O N F E T T I. Correct. Your word is synonym. 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 S Y N O N. Y M Correct. Your word is wiseacre. Definition. A wiseacre is one who represents himself as well informed or clever. A smart aleck. Wiseacre. Wiseacre. W I S E A K E R Wiseacre. I'm sorry, it's W I S E A C R E. <coughs> Your word is albatross. Albatross. Albatross? Albatross. A L B I T. R O S. I'm sorry, it's A L B A T R O S S. Your word is democracy. Democracy. D E M O C R A C Y. Democracy. Correct. Your word is feldspar. Feldspar. Feldspar? Feldspar. Language of origin. 
the word is from a German word plus a German-derived English word, Feldspar. Feldspar. F-E-L-D-S-P-A-R, Feldspar? Correct. Your word is fatigue. Fatigue. Can you please use it in a sentence? Sure. Fatigue occurs when one does too much too fast. Fatigue. Fatigue. F-A-T-I-G-U-E. Fatigue. That is correct. And I believe that's the end of that round. Carnivore. 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 C 
C-A-R-N-I-V-O-R-E. Carnivore. Correct. Your word has two pronunciations, so I will give you both of them. The word is pronounced either elixir or elixir. 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 E-L-I-X-I-R. Elixir. <clears throat> Correct. Your word has a, a close uh, homonym, so I'm going to give you a, uh, the definition. The word is prodigal. Prodigal. It means given to reckless extravagance, unrestrained in spending, or using up one's means. Prodigal. Prodigal. P R O D I G A L. Prodigal. Correct. Your word is influenza. 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 I N F L U E N G A. Influenza. Correct. Incognito, also pronounced incognito. Incognito means um, with one's identity concealed or assumed to be concealed. Incognito. Incognito. I N C O G N I T O. Incognito. Correct. I'm also going to give you the definition of your word. Uh, so that you're clear of what I'm saying. Acme. Acme means the highest point or stage of growth or development. Acme. 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 A C M E. Acme. That's the word it can be confused with, is acne, acne. Okay, yours is a homonym as well. I'm going to give you the definition. The word is foliate, and it means shaped like a leaf. Foliate. Foliate. F-O-L-I-A-T-E, foliate. Correct. Your word is Taj. Taj. T-A-J. Taj. That is correct. Your word is malaria. 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 M-A-L-A-R-I-A. -A -A. Malaria. Correct. Your word is arsenal. 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 A R S E N A L. Arsenal. That is correct. Okay. Your word is mattock. Mattock. May I have a definition? Yes. A mattock is a tool that combines features of an adze, an axe, and a pick and is used for digging, grubbing, and chopping. It took Mark three hours of hard work with a mattock and shovel to dig up the tree stump. Mattock. M-A-T-T-I-C. I'm sorry, it's M-A-T-T-O-C-K.
Your word is agnostic. 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 A G N O S T I C. Correct. Your word is piccolo. 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 P I C C O L O. Piccolo. Correct. I'm going to give you the definition of your word so that you're clear which word I'm saying. The word is etymology. Etymology. It is a branch of linguistics concerned with the history, often including the prehistic history of a linguistic form as a word or morpheme. Etymology. Etymology. E T Y M O L. O G Y etymology. Correct. Your word also has a homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition. The word is monotonous. Monotonous. It means having no change or variety, wearisomely uniform. Monot monotonous. 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 M O N O T O N O U S, monotonous. Correct. Your word is exuberant. <coughs> exuberant. Exuberant. E X U B E R A N T, exuberant. Your word is aristocracy. Aristocracy. Any alternate um, pronunciations, please? No alternate pronunciations. Aristocracy. Language of origin. Both parts of this word are originally Greek. Repeat the word, please. Aristocracy. A. R. I'm starting over. A R I S I'm starting over. A R I S. Can you get the word? Aristocracy. Aristocracy. I'm starting over. A R I S T O C R A C Y. Aristocracy. Your word is consensus. 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 C O N C E N S U S. Consensus. I'm sorry, it's C O N S E N S U S. Your word is nirvana. Nirvana. N I R. V A N A, Nirvana. Correct. Your word is desperado. 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 D E S P E R A D O, Desperado. Correct. <coughs> Your word is filibuster. Filibuster. 
Can you please use it in a sentence? The Senate effectively killed the bill with a filibuster. Uh, language of origin, please. This word is from a word that went from Dutch to English, then probably to French, then to Spanish, and back to English. Filibuster. F filibuster. F-I-L-I-B-U-S-T-E-R. Filibuster. That's correct. Okay. This word has a couple pronunciations. I'll give both of them to you. Paprika or paprika? Paprika or paprika? Paprika. P A P R I K A. Correct. Your word is alliteration. 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 A L L I T E R A T I O N. Alliteration. Correct. This word has a, a homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition. The word is keel hall. Keel hall. And it means um, to rebuke with great severity. Actually, it means to drag you under a ship. That's how severe. Uh, keel hall. Keel hall? Keel hall. K E E L H A U L. Keel hall. Keel hall. That's correct. Your word is liverwurst. 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 L I V E R W O R S T. Liverwurst. I'm sorry, it's L I V E R W U R S T. Your word is musical. Musical. I'm going to give you the definition so that you're clear on what I'm saying. Musical. It's usually a private concert of music typically comprising a social entertainment. Musical. Musical. M-U-S-I-C-A-L-E. Musical. Correct. Okay. Your word uh, also has a homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition. The word is cavalry. Cavalry is a component of an army that maneuvers and fights on horseback. Cavalry. 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 C A V A L R Y. Cavalry. That is correct. Your word is Samaritan. 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 S A M A R I T A N. Samaritan. Correct. Your word has a near homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition as well. The word is regatta. A regatta is an organized series of rowing, speedboat, or sailing races. Regatta. Language of origin? Italian. Regatta. R I G O T A. Regatta. I'm sorry, it's R E G A T T A. Regatta. <coughs> Your word is Parmesan. 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 P A R M E S A N. Parmesan. Correct.
Your word is ridiculous. Ridiculous. R I D I C O U L O U S. I'm sorry, it's R I D I C U L O U S. Your word is benevolent. 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 B E N E V O L E N T. Benevolent. Correct. Your word has several pronunciations. I'm going to give you the two most common machismo or machismo. Machismo or machismo? M A C H I S M O. Machismo. Correct. Your word is cryptic. 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 May I have the definition, please? Cryptic means enigmatic or mysterious. Cryptic. Cryptic. C R Y P T I C. Cryptic. Your word is a homonym. I'm going to go ahead and give you the definition. The word is gilder. Gilder is any of various silver coins, especially uh, of Dutch origin. Gilder. Gilder. G. U I L D E R Gilder. That is correct. Your word is matriarch. 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 M A T R I A R C H. Matriarch. That is correct. Your word has a homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition. The word is virtuosa, virtuosa. And it's a woman who excels in the technique of an art, especially one who is a musical performer, as on the violin or the piano. Virtuosa. Virtuosa. V-I-R-T-U-O-S-A. Virtuosa. Correct. I'm going to give you the definition for this word so that you're, you're clear on what I'm pronouncing. The word is muslin. Muslin is a plain woven cotton fabric that is used bleached or unbleached for sheeting, embroidery, and other purposes. Muslin. Language of origin? Uh, the word is from an Iraqi geographical name that went into Arabic, then Italian, and then French. Muslin. Muslin. M. U S L I N. That is correct. Your word is synopsis. Synopsis. Synopsis? Synopsis, yes. S Y N O P S I S. Synopsis. Your word is gregarious, gregarious. Gregarious, G-R-E-G-A-R-I-O-U-S, gregarious. Correct. Your word is semolina. Semolina. Can you repeat the word? Semolina. Um, start to S E M O L I N A. Se 
Camolina. That is correct. Your word is barrio. 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 B A R R I O. Barrio. Correct. Your word is alleviate. 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 A L L E V I A T E. Alleviate. city street or a district notorious for cheap saloons and homeless derelicts. Bowery. Language of origin? The word is from Dutch. Bowery. Bowery. B-O-W-O-R-Y. Sorry, it's B O W E R Y. Your word is Odyssey. Odyssey. Odyssey? Odyssey. O D Y S S E Y. Odyssey? Your word is beleaguer, beleaguer. Any alternate pronunciations? Um, yeah, I can go beleaguer instead of beleaguer. Beleaguer, B-E-L-E-A-G-U-E-R, beleaguer. Correct. Okay, this word could be confused for another, with another word, so I'm going to give you the definition. The word is oregano. Oregano is any of various aromatic herbs that are used as seasonings in cookery. Oregano. Oregano. Language of origin, please. Went from Greek to Latin to Spanish. Oregano. O. R. Oregano. Can you repeat the word, please? Oregano. I'm starting over. O R E G A N O. Oregano. Correct. Your word is precipitate. 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 P R E C I P I T A T E. Precipitate. Correct. Your word is pacifism. 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 P A C I F I S M. Pacifism. Correct. give you three different pronunciations for this word, because I've heard people say it all these ways. Wainscot, Wainscot, Wainscot. Can you repeat the word? <laughs> yeah, all three times? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wainscot, Wainscot, Wainscot. Language of origin? It is Dutch. Can I have a definition? Certainly. The definition of wainscot, 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 is the lower three or four feet of an interior wall when finished differently from the remainder of the wall, as with wood panels, tile, or marble slabs. Can I have another sentence? 
Michelle chose a striped wallpaper for the wainscot in the dining room. Wainscot. W. E I N S. C-O-T, Wayne Scott? I'm sorry, it's W-A-I-N-S-C-O-T. Your word is susceptible. Susceptible. May I have the language of origin? This word comes to us from Latin. Susceptible. Susceptible. May you use it in a sentence? Certainly. People who smoke are very susceptible to chronic bron bronchitis and emphysema. Susceptible. Susceptible. S U S C E P T A B L E. Susceptible. No, I'm sorry, it's S U S. C E P T I B L E. <clears throat> Your word is endemic. 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 <clears throat> Language of origin, please. Greek. Alternate pronunciations? It says no alternate pronunciations. It gives a non-standard pronunciation, but I'm not, and I'll say it, uh, endemic. Endemic. Sentence, please. Despite its name, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is not endemic to the Western United States. Endemic. Can you repeat the word, please? Endemic. 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 E N D E M I C. Endemic. Reciprocity privileges. Tariff. Tariff. T A R I F F. Tariff. Correct. Your word is quinine. Quinine. Language of origin, please. This word is a word that went from Quechua to Spanish. Quinine. Can I please have the definition? Quinine is a bitter alkaloid obtained from the chinchona bark and used in medicine, especially in the form of salts. 
quinine. Quinine. Q U I N I N E. Quinine. Correct. The word is Cossack. Cossack. A Cossack is a member of a favored military caste of Russian frontiersmen and border guards in Tsarist Russia who played an important part in Russian expansion. Cossack. So this is Slavic? No, it is not. It is um, a Turkish derived Russian word and a Turkish derived Ukrainian word. Um, Cossack. 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 C O S S A C K. Cossack. Correct. Your word is mediocre. Mediocre. M E D. I O C R E, mediocre? Correct. Your word is a homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition. The word is stolen, and stolen is a sweet yeast bread containing fruit and nuts, usually made in a long oval loaf. Stolen. Stolen. S T O L L E N. Stolen. That is correct. Your word is magnanimous. 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 Any alternate pronunciations? No. Can you repeat the word, please? Magnanimous. 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 M A G. Sentence, please. Simone's sister does not share Simone's magnanimous attitude toward the homeless. Definition, please. Magnanimous means showing or suggesting nobility of feeling and generosity of mind. Magnanimous. M A G N A N I M. O-U-S, magnanimous. Correct. Your word is epiphany. 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 E-P-I-P-H-A-N-Y, epiphany. Correct. Your word is amicable. Amicable. A-M-I-C-A-B-L-E, amicable. Correct. Another round. Definition, please. An ornamental border consisting of short lengths of straight or twisted thread, cord, or leather hanging from cut or raveled edges or from a separate band and often grouped or knotted in various designs. Fringe. Fringe.
R I N G E French correct mango mango can I have the definition please a mango is a yellowish red oblong to pear shaped tropical fruit that has a firm skin and a hard central stone mango mango M A N G O mango correct Heaven. Heaven. H E A V E N. Heaven. Alternate pronunciations, any please? Well, subtleness and subtleness. S. Aphid. 
Aphid? Aphid. Aphid. A P H I D. Aphid. Correct. <laughs> The next word is a homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition. The word is bespoke. It means custom made, made to order, used especially of wearing apparel. Apparel. Bespoke has an alternate pronunciation, bespoke. Sentence, please. The movie star was known for wearing perfectly tailored bespoke suits, both on and off the red carpet. Bespoke. Bespoke? Bespoke. Language of origin, please. It is from two English words. Bespoke. B. I'm starting over. Can you repeat the word, please? Bespoke. <sighs> Starting over. B E. Bespoke. Bespoke. Starting over. B E. I'm starting up. Bespoke. Can you repeat the word, please? Bespoke. Bespoke. I'm starting. B E S P
Bespoke. I'm starting closer. Bespoke. B E S P Starting over. B E S P. I'm starting over. B E S P. I'm starting over. B E S P. O. Language of origin. Latin to French to English. Formative. Formative. F O R M A T I V E. Formative. Correct. Your word is workaholic. 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 W O R K A. H O L I C, workaholic? Correct. Your word is recuperate. Recuperate. Re recuperate. R E C U P E R A T E, recuperate. Correct. <laughs> Concession. 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 Definition, please. An act or an instance of acknowledging something as won by an opponent without formal de determination of the result. Concession. Sentence, please. The enemy departed from the town as a concession to avoid further casualties. Concession. Root word. We don't give root words. Oh. I can give you the language of origin. C O N. Concession. 
concession. I'm starting over. C O N Can you repeat the word, please? Concession. I'm starting over. C O N. Concession. Definition again, please. Concession is an act or instance of acknowledging something as won by an opponent without formal determination of the result. Concession. Concession. Sentence again, please. The enemy departed from the town as a concession to avoid further casualties. Um. Etymology, please. Latin. Starting over. Concession. session. Concession. C O N
concession. I'm starting over. C O N concession. Concession. C O N C C O N Concession. I'm starting over. C O N Concession. I'm sorry. C O N. Concession. C O N. Session. Con session. I'm starting over. C O N. Can you repeat the word, please? Concession. Concession. C O N Concession. I'm starting over. C O N Thank 
possession. Possession. See Concession. 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 C O N C E S S I O N. Concession. Correct. Your word is edification. 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 E D I F I C A T I O N. Edification. Correct. Your word is legitimacy. 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 L E G I T I M A C Y. Legitimacy. Correct. <laughs> Your word is gentry. Gentry, definition please. Upper or ruling class. Sentence, please. During the worst days of the French Revolution, the gentry all feared for their lives. Gentry. Gentry. G-E-N-T-R-Y. Gentry. Correct. <coughs> Your word is Nordic. Nordic. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. Nordic means of or relating to the Germanic peoples of Northern Europe. Nordic. Nordic. N O R D I C Nordic. Correct. Okay, the next word is a homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition. The word is proficient. Proficient. It means well advanced in art, an occupation, a skill, or a branch of knowledge. Proficient. Proficient. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. Many educators feel that it is imperative for grade school children to become proficient in more than one language. Proficient. Proficient. P-R-O-F-F-I-C-I-E-N-T. -I -I -E proficient. Sorry, it's one F. P-R-O-F-I-C-I-E-N-T. Can you repeat the word, please? Grandiose. Definition, please. Grandiose means characterized by affectation of magnificence, by pretense and pomp, or arrogance, or by absurd exaggeration. Any alternate pronunciations? No, ma'am. Grandiose. Grandiose. G-R-A-N-D-I-O-S-E. Grandiose. Your word is economics. 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 E C O N O M I C S. Economics. Correct. Mimicry. M I C-R-Y. Correct. 
parlance. Parlance. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. Parlance means an idiom or phraseology. Parlance. Parlance? Parlance. Can you repeat the word, please? Parlance. Parlance. P A R L A N C E. Parlance? Correct. Charisma. Definition? Personal magic of leadership arousing special popular loyalty or enthusiasm for a public figure. Charisma. Charisma. Sentence, please. When asked to name a leader with charisma, Tony named John F. Kennedy. Charisma. Charisma. Can you repeat the word, please? Charisma. I'm starting over. Can you repeat the word, please? Charisma. C H A R I S M A. Charisma. Correct. Kinetic. Kinetic. K I N E T I C. Kinetic. Correct. Quandary. Quandary. Definition, please. A state of perplexity or doubt. A choice or situation involving choice between equally unsatisfactory alternatives. Quandary. Q U A N D R Y. Quandary. I'm sorry, that's correct. It's Q U A N D A R Y. Your word is volatile. Volatile. V O L A T I L E. Volatile. That's correct. You need to spell one more word. So this is this is a Pepsi Championship word. Okay. Your word is mortuary. 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 M O R T U A R Y. Mortuary. That is correct. <laughs> can, we, can we have the third speller come down for a, a picture, please? I'd like to get the top three. The top two spellers will go on to the regional B in March, uh, and they each receive a prize from the Fredericksburg Freeman. I'm going to ask um, Cheryl Wolf, our school board member, to um, present the prizes to our winner, Drew Marina, and uh, our, our second place speller, Kira Holland. Congratulations to both of you.